出国那个 slam 就有两三亿嘛。有 Commissioner and Secretary Health and Family Welfare Sampat Kumar next ni haba ikren berkilat petai kebor how first day kami jumpu halor kejengkiu jengki bayo ya kejengpang COVID kat kendai ha kejela ulaong bahkan ni kejengpang kadai kejengpang kapa sapriang setiap bah kejengkiu jengki bayo ha kejela kam tak me ha kejis kasihils kapa pun long ya kezorkar man pun pernah da ke containment measures but hadu bahkan pun pernah no da kejengkang dam ha kejis kasihils si barok kawai but dek la kam ya kejengke lumbriu maru ban pengkut ya kejeng ya bet jong kan ni ke jingpang syusu na kaliang u commissioner and secretary katunat ka kot ke kia ula kentui ke pat ba ba kidai ban bur renti ya kejeng betha sarkar bat ban om ye jan iwe na iwe pat bendeng ya kamas maru ban sat bha ya ke kiti ula ong ba da ka ba bur renti ya ke ni gin la ban pengkut ya kejeng sapriang jong uni u knyang Syusu ula ongru ba kadai ke kamram jongi iwei pa iwei ban sumar daladi yaladi ula kentu ba ngim dai ban ting hanrei ban sumar ba ban lai na ke ne ke jingpang one one is that uh, this is a very uh, highly infectious uh, uh, you know strain that we can make it out the way it is actually spreading even with a very less exposure the very even with the very less exposure in fact people are getting infected so suppose if somebody actually <coughs> takes out the mask and you know have a tea with the other person for 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes you know the other person is getting affected so it's a it's important that like you know that's why you know we need to so focus on two things that's why actually the government is also actually focusing on these two things one is that to the containment containment again in the containment there are two elements uh, one is that uh, how actually we are containing this entire you know the virus with our own you know the personal behavior mm. especially each one can contain the virus by wearing a proper mask so so we have issued uh, guidelines about the mask wearing as a containment and uh, especially the masks we are asking for a medical masks some surgical masks are a double mask that what you are wearing so basically that's a, a very important thing because uh, that will give more protection more protection for uh, you know uh, in terms of isolating the virus so the idea is that if everyone you know follows this diligently the virus can be killed automatically so it's essentially through 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 Uh, containment is essentially to isolate the virus as you know a virus will not have any you know host to reproduce itself so because you know it's not getting any other host so it will automatically be, it will die down then the second is that like the so the, the social distancing it is not uh, the physical distancing alone social distancing means you know you cannot have this kind of a you know common dinings or you know common uh, you know uh, so basically we need to avoid this you know till this search comes down so that's where again next 14 days are very critical for us you know everyone actually has to have that kind of a you know serious containment measures containment measures is not just lockdown actually we are each one has to lock down the virus so that is the kind of a you know message that uh, you know we are trying to communicate we are uh, involving the uh, different communities in fact our uh, you know the the headmen and uh, you know and also the faith based leaders and uh, different sections we have been actually you know reaching out and you know asking them to really you know follow this and you know educate this one you know, among every household so we are also actually going for with an ambitious plan of training every household on this uh, science behind this entire covid how this covid you know um, you know essentially affects the body you know how actually it affects your body you yeah, see the 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 definitely oxygen as i said like you know the current what we have seen the witness is that the people who are you know getting into serious that means suppose you know once you get a virus if you start uh, you know having inflammation in the lungs and you know, there is a delay in you know the diagnosis or delay in the treatment because you know many many times what is happening people are not actually diagnosing early so that's that's another thing so then more and more people are going to be hospitalized when you go more and more people are going to hospitalized and they require more oxygen so we have we have a limited uh, uh, 
first couple bites, you know, with oxygen. So we need to keep that in mind. That's why we need to make sure that, like, you know, we will not actually, uh, you know, allow the spread of the disease. That would actually cause, you know, a, a large number of people requiring oxygen. So that is a very, very important thing. We can't actually take chances on that. So that's why the containment is a very, very important thing. So we, we need to really stop the mobility, stop that, you know, the spread from one person to another. That's very important. So, but we have uh, uh, the beds, like you know, still, you know, almost like a, uh, as on date, uh, close to 300 people are actually occupying the hospital beds in uh, Meghalaya. It's a, quite a high number. So we need to be uh, aware of it. Of course, currently the supplies are there. Uh, you know, we have uh, a system, but we are also trying to. Uh, you know, basically the situation, you know, we are, uh, uh, what is there in Meghalaya, we are also, we got some kind of a lead time, unlike other states, so we are actually trying to take steps to increase our oxygen capacity, we are procuring the cylinders, we are also actually trying, you know, in six hospitals we are going to have oxygen generators, so, so these are all, these steps are happening, and it's on a advanced stage, you know, we, we are going to have those additional supplies how actually it uh, causes inflammation in the lungs. Once it causes inflammation in the lungs, what happens is that, you know, your lungs cannot, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically uh, provide that oxygen, you know, that is required for the blood. So there is a shortness of breath, you know, uh, you know breath will happen. So then you want to tend to require the oxygen. So we have to really understand that we should not, you know, allow that criticality so we need to take measures to avoid this essentially prevention is the the best cure so we have been even like you know by the, you know by any chance of course you know despite all the measures if even one gets the virus they should not get panic and they should take certain measures you know essentially to uh, reduce the severity of the cases a lot of non pharmaceutical measures are you know advocated that is essentially how actually you are steaming how actually you know we are using like a proning position for you know the, for breathing how actually we are also taking some warm water all the time and you know some fluids you know we should not be dehydrated we should take good diet so that like you know, we can fight with the you know the virus inside so it's a very important thing is that like a non pharmaceutical measures and in addition to that there are also some proven things now like a lot of people are using it and they are finding it very effective like especially some antiviral medications like you know uh, you know the like ivermectin and some other you know things are also actually we are you know recommending so that people will not you know become serious and you know where they are required to you know be hospitalized for oxygen support so that's the reason actually we, we are trying to actually explain the science you know to the uh, uh, to all the residents of Meghalaya so that uh, you know through our triple A's you know we are uh, asking uh, you know to our healthcare workers you know to uh, teach this science you know how actually the COVID impacts people how actually we can prevent it you know how actually we can also treat you know, the treatment is also important we are also laying a lot of focus on treatment we are actually you know, uh, you know giving a new protocol for the treatment also so that uh, even in a, in a containment area even if you are not tested but you have the symptoms then you should start immediate you know care you know early treatment is important so that without waiting for it you should at least take some preventive measures if you have a fever you should start with a, you know medication and you know so those are the things that we have been promoting so that we would not actually you know uh, overwhelm the hospitals you know uh, because you know there is a delay in you know in the diagnosis and the delay in the treatment so the cure you know the the, the strategy uh, you know the cure that actually we are trying to promote is that early diagnosis and early treatment positivity rate in fact uh, uh, the exact thing i will give you later but like uh, it's over 10 percent so is this the highest in the country like, no, it's not like that. It's not highest country, but especially in East Kasi, so that's why actually the entire lockdown has been initiated because it's over 10%. Yeah, this, you know, this, this, uh, you know, this, these are all, uh, you know, the studies done across the globe. Uh, but what I'm talking about, uh, the, the, uh, the virus actually, the, the, that's called uh, R0, reproduction rate. The reproduction rate is currently it is higher. It is actually, it is 1.5, around 1.5 percent. I'm talking about a two, three weeks back, this data. Now I, it might have increased also the, because, so it's increasing 1.5 to 2 percent. That means 
so it is still spreading from one to another so when it can be stopped only when we you know when there is a mobility you know lockdown or when we stop the mobility intermingling of people this would come down so that's very very important so that's why the 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 lockdown or you know the containment measures are very important at this juncture especially to slow down the virus basically though you know the genome sequencing and all that results had to come but like by seeing the trend it is almost like what we are seeing in other places we are also seeing here too as uh, the as as i said you know this is a, a disease which actually you know goes uh, you know why you know a, a formula if i would say it's called you know reproduction rate which is actually which multiplies you know if one person gets this virus you know potentially that virus can actually uh, can transmit to another two persons so the two persons can actually can transmit to another you know four persons so it's like a multiplier effect you know this disease has so that's why as long you know it, we always have to try to you know reduce the numbers you know so to reduce that reproduction rate below one so that means one person cannot in fact more than one person then actually it will not progress so currently it is going like you know more than one and in fact nationally it is going by 1.5% you know as per the public health experts even in meghalaya also the same maybe even more so so what uh, we need to do is that that's why actually in fact the government has taken a decision to you know bring the kind of a lockdown in entire east khasi hills which is witnessing a large number of cases so that uh, we can reduce that reproduction rate i think that that's why this the the, the containment measures are very very important that, that, yeah they 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 are coming in fact uh, we have already paid money for that so we are making those steps as soon as uh, they come actually we will open up that slot we are actually trying to look at like which out of this time you know basically from 18 to uh, 45 maybe we might actually open up to maybe the 35 to 45 or 40 to okay. 45 just we are making some the, the entire calculation how many people are there in the, and also we are trying to focus on these vulnerable areas where we have large number of cases are noticed so basically we wanted to saturate those areas strategically so that you know we have a less uh, you know basically vaccine provides a lot of uh, uh, in fact uh, the the strength for the people to um, you know handle the covid because uh, the the severity of the disease is less for those people who have been vaccinated you know vaccination essentially it will take a little time because of this uh, you know again containment measures there is a especially the lockdown and you know that i think have some impact on that uh, you know especially in east khasi hills area but otherwise vaccination is going on in fact uh, initially i think you all aware there was some kind of a hesitancy was there but like we we have overcome now actually people are reaching out and you know they they wanted to get vaccinated so but uh, the deputy commissioners are uh, you know, taking up more session sites so we we will be good like only thing is that as i said like it's a one last one or two days because of this uh, you know the lockdown especially in east khasi hills there was a little slowdown but uh, it will improve we are actually trying to put this right, session sites even in the communities now so that like people don't require to you know travel. go to uh, travel and you know they can easily get vaccinated early treatment for the covid uh, you know uh, management during this uh, search especially we have we are witnessing a search across the country even in meghalaya you know we have crossed over 2500 active cases uh, as on date so uh, it's very important that like everyone has to take a serious note and uh, we should uh, you know follow these uh, uh, these containment you know measures very diligently and also the treatment you know, you know the 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 guidance also that we are giving and that also you know, we request everyone to follow